Mama told me, boy, you gon' be a star, yeah I was born just to be the boss, yeah Push the star, don't need key to car uh, I be kicking up, check my sneaker star What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, these Sneaks Tapping in with my beautiful people once again From the humble abode of quarantine As Tory Lanez would say Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine like we already knew, but I might just have to stress it again, guys. Yeezy season for the foreseeable future will still be in full, full effect. The creative mastermind himself, Mr. West, Mr. Kanye West, him and Adidas are kind of like that Kobe-Shaq duo. Whenever Kobe and Shaq were in the playoffs against the Trailblazers, Kobe drove the lane through the hoop to Shaq, Shaq banged on him. That's what Adidas and Kanye are. They don't ever skip a beat, they just keep the fire rolling. And that is what they did with this second installment to this Yeezy 700 V3 in the Alba colorway. Before we get into this dope review as well as the on foot, for my newcomers to the channel tapping in with the boy for the first time today, I appreciate y'all if you want to hit that subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. I'm dropping videos regularly every single week, so I'm trying to get dope stuff out there for y'all guys. If y'all are trying to tune in, then just hit that subscribe down below. But without further ado, let's get into this dope review. Man, let me tell y'all guys, not many things beat waking up so freaking early to cop these shoes online and just securing your pair. With this release, I was up literally at like 4 a.m. randomly, and so I decided like, oh, I should just try my luck on like a Canada retailer and just see if I could take a dub maybe real early since I was up. But I mean, I took an L of course, but the main goal in mind was that I was gonna get on Yeezy Supply and Adidas.com and try to secure these bad boys. And so whenever it hit eight, I believe, just hopped on, got my tab set up, hopped in the little virtual online line or whatever, and just secured my pair. Man, it was just a major blessing because I really don't take many dubs on Adidas. And I mean, just a blessing that I didn't waste my time because waking up so early to cop these shoes and taking an L is just the worst. Especially if you're waking up earlier in the comfort of your own home, you're already tired as hell, got boogers in your eye, and then you just take an L on the shoes and you ain't got nothing else to do but just go back to sleep mad. But I mean, yeah, I was luckily able to cop these. Also copped another thing from Nike, but who knows when that's falling in the, the mail just because of this whole Corona deal, but major blessings. But yeah, guys, like I said, this is the Yeezy 700 V3 in the Alba colorway. This is the second V3 to drop. They dropped on April 11th for the retail price of $200 on adidas.com as well as other online retailers. Basically, the last colorway of this model dropped in December. That was the Azale colorway. I'm gonna show that for y'all right here. So with this Alva colorway, I did try to go online and kind of try to figure out what Alva even meant. And I did come up with that this colorway, Alva, is supposed to mean like exalted one or like his highness. And so we already know Kanye's in his little biblical holy phase right now. And so I'm guessing that's what he was running with with this model as well in 
the Azale colorway, the previous one that I showed you, that's supposed to mean, Azale's supposed to mean like made from God. So I'm guessing that's where Kanye is getting his inspiration with these naming for these models. Can't really complain. I mean, a name's not gonna really hurt a shoe in any way. I think Alba sounds dope, Azale sounds dope. Had to do a little bit of research to find that out, but it's still cool. But man, guys, this 700 V3 model, I really just love, I really like this silhouette because it's really just like, it's one of a kind. There hasn't really been another sneaker that I can really think of that looks like this silhouette. And I really just love the inspiration that Kanye and Adidas were running with, just trying to give us a really cool futuristic looking shoe. And they're really just hitting it on the, they're hitting it on the bullet with these colorways. I mean, we already got two clean colorways that we can wear with a lot of different things. I like that Azel colorway. I do plan on trying to cop that one as well pretty soon. But I really just like with this 700 V3 that this silhouette is just such a sleek, futuristic shoe. And it's really just a nice wearable shoe that you can wear in a lot of different seasons as well. And at the same time, this is the 700 but it's not the 700 boost like the previous two models of the 700. So this one does not have boost technology in the cushioning system at all. This is basically just an EVA midsole as well as we can see with the cushion down below. It's just regular EVA. I'm not gonna say that it's uncomfortable, but it is definitely a little firm. Whereas Boost, you get that, Boost is life. It's just that nice little cushion, that little bounce when you're stepping in it. I'm always gonna like Boost. I have two other previous models of the 700 behind me. And I mean, I may just show y'all a comparison video just to show a few different things about it. But even though they, they basically the price point did go down from $300 in the previous 700s to $200 in this model. So even though they cut the cost of, they cut the cost of production, not giving us boost this shoe is still really comfortable on the inner liner it does give you some achilles cushioning you really can't see it in here sadly i took the insole out but you can't really see it too too well but they did give you some nice achilles cushion in the back so even though they took the boost out they still didn't sacrifice comfort in any sort of way these do fit really good i want us everybody's been saying they run a half size up personally i think they run true to size True to size if you like a, a snug fit, which I do, so I will move my true size 12 as I would get an 11 half and 12 in Jordan 1s, but you could go that, that half size up, that you can't kill yourself if you get that half size up, it's still gonna feel well. I did actually try to go for a 13 since I can't get a 12 and a half, but they were sold out, so I decided to just run with that 12 anyway. Let's get into it. Let's start with this lateral side. Like I said, we don't have boost cushioning. We have this like EVA cushioning on the sides going all the way around the shoe. And then they did give us this textile mesh. I want to say it's kind of like an engineered mesh. It feels really nice and very breathable. Like it feels really good on your foot. It's going to definitely be a comfortable shoe that you can wear all day. These stripes on the side, sadly, they aren't 3M or reflective, which I was kind of, I was kind of a little like, it was a little bit of a letdown because Kanye loves to throw those little hits of 3M or reflective to make that shoe pop, but they still didn't sacrifice the clean aesthetics of the shoe because they still gave us this nice cage around here. This cage glows in the dark whenever it hits, whenever it gets any sort of dark light, it really, really glows. I'm going to show you all pictures of that right here. We are gonna move on to the medial side, guys. As I said, it is not boost cushioning. It is an EVA setup of cushion going across in black. And then as we move on to the engineering mesh, it is gonna be black with these gray hits going across. Like I said, they are not 3M or reflective. They are just, it's just a subtle hit of gray going across, not 3M, but it is still very, very nice. And as we go to the caging unit right here, this does glow in the dark. Once it hits any sort of darkness, it glows stupid, guys. Like, it glows ridiculously. I was really impressed whenever I went just trying it out, walking in my closet and stuff. It glows crazy. And as we move on to the upper, it is going to be kind of like a poly Euro theme one piece upper. It's very, very comfortable. Getting one, It is a little bit of a hassle getting your foot in if you have a wider foot. I luckily don't, but I can definitely see that if you have a wider foot, it may be 
giving you a little bit of trouble. You just gotta get your foot in there, but once you do, man, this one piece neoprene, it feels amazing on the top part of your foot, as well as wrapping around your ankle in the back. These are gonna be the only hits of 3M reflective we are gonna have on both of these sides right here. That's the only 3M on the shoe. It's still very subtle, but clean. The 700 line always, that's the thing. That's like their claim to fame is that it's just a real subtle, but clean shoe with a lot of different materials on it. And that's what they give us with different hits of material. We are gonna have this rubber toe cap right here. It does kind of pick up a little bit of lint as I've been noticing when I did my on foot. This kind of picked up a little bit of lint, but it's nothing a little lint roller can't take off. And as we end off the upper, we are just gonna have these nice black rope laces with these nice little aglets on them right there. Real clean rope lace, but that's gonna end out the upper. And then as we lead to the backside, this is gonna be the only Adidas branding on the shoe besides the insole that just has Adidas the ortholite on it. These will be the only hits of hits of Adidas on the shoe at all. The 700 line is known to do that though. It usually doesn't have too much crazy branding or anything. It's usually just gonna have real subtle hits. And that's why I gravitate towards the 700 just cause it's a real subtle but clean shoe. And then as we lead to the last part of the outsole, it's just gonna be an all black outsole with these little yellow little pods. That's the EVA cushioning in them. Like I said, it is not boost, it is EVA cushioning but nonetheless, it's still a comfortable shoe. And then it's just gonna be an all rubber outsole, kind of aggressive traction, but still real good traction, real subtle outsole. We are gonna go ahead and move on into that on foot portion of the video. Once again, like always guys, I appreciate all y'all for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you thought it was a banger, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also to all my new guys checking me out for the first time today, if you wanna see any of my past videos, just hit the link down below and it'll take you to my channel. And also just hit a subscribe too, so that way if you like any of my content, you're locked in and ready for what I got coming forward. I have a lot of packages coming in. I have some packages that are already just getting here, so I will have some little unboxings as well as some reviews and on feeds coming forward real soon. But if that's all we got for today, guys, y'all stay safe, better, stay blessed. And lastly, be sneaks. I'm out of here.